We've had a lot of questions recently regarding the temperature of the rotating swash plate on your AS350 and EC130 models of helicopters as it relates to the high temperatures we're having outside. So we can touch this when it's really hot outside and we don't know what too hot is. So what we're gonna start doing here is we're gonna measure the temperature here before and after a flight as it relates to the skin temperature of the helicopter and we'll try to determine somewhat of a norm. So I have just a basic temperature gun here and currently the temperature of the rotating swash plate in this hangar is 80 degrees. The skin temperature is actually 82 degrees. So right around 80 degrees for the temperature inside the hangar here. So after our flights, we'll measure it again and we'll start seeing what kind of temperature difference we get. All right, so we just got done with our flight. It's a little over 90 degrees here in Vegas. So if we look at the temperature of the rotating swash plate, I'm seeing 103. Uh, if we look at the surface area here, we're getting about 98. So we'll continue to do that and see what we get. All right, today we're in Grand Junction, Colorado in an EC-130. It's 85 degrees here. We just completed our flight and we get a temperature on the rotating swash plate of a 110 degrees. The skin temperature is 93. All right, today we are in Montrose, Colorado. It's about 85 degrees outside. The temperature of the rotating swash plate is 108. And if we take a reading of the skin temperature, it is 96. All right, we're in Long Beach, California, and we're in an AS350 B2. It is 67 degrees outside. The rotating swash plate is at 88, and the skin temperature is 80. All right, we're up in Wasilla, Alaska. The outside air temperature is 68 degrees. The swash plate temperature is 85 and the skin temperature is 100.